All right, this is Mike from the Mobile Fanatics. Here we have a quick comparison. We already showed you in another video the 808 and the N8. Um, on the right, we have the 920. And on the left, we have the Nokia Lumia 900. So these two devices um, will be compared head to head. Here we have the 920 size difference. So it's going to be a little bit bigger off to the right, as you notice, a little bit taller. Here we're lining up at the top, look at the bottom, it's not much of a difference. We'll stack them up against each other and see if we could get a difference of width. Not much. Um, these phones are almost exactly the same size. If you look at the sides, the 920 actually is a little bit more thin, so it's not as chunky in the middle. As you can see, the 900 seems to be thinner down here and then it gets thicker in the middle. And then looking at it from the back, again, it looks very similar. Both have a dual LED flash, the 8 megapixel camera. The 920's camera, if you've um, seen some of my photos that I've been tweeting and I'm publishing on mobilefanatics.com, the 920 camera is fantastic. Blows away the 900. So at the top, uh, let's see, yep, the top of the 900, you have the micro USB port and the audio jack on the 920. All you have is the audio, the SIM card tray. Down at the bottom, the micro USB port on the 920. It has the two speakers on each side. Here's the big speaker on the 900. And then on the left side of the phone, let's lock up both. There we go. Here's the button layout, pretty much the same. You have the volume rocker, as you can see on the 920 it's one big button. And on the 900 it's two separate ones. And then you got the lock button and the camera button. On the 920, you're, not gonna, you're gonna see a ridge right here. Might be hard to see in the video, but there's definitely a ridge that you could fill when you slide your finger off it, so it's not a curved glass screen. And it's kind of unfinished. That's one of the things I did not like about the 900 screen. On the 920, it's curved glass, so it goes all the way to the edge and then slides right off the phone. Again, you might not be able to tell too much of a difference here in the video, but I can assure you if you go into a store and hold both phones, you'll definitely notice a difference. So we'll take a closer look at the 920, since this is the new one. And that's it for the hardware. We'll go through some of the software real quick. So you can have a difference in speed. We'll pu push the search button at the same time, just about. So the animations on the 900 are a little bit um, quicker, but I think there's less animations actually. So as you can see, when you push it on the 900, it takes you straight away to the search, but when you push it on the 920, you saw something that said camera roll photos, so it kind of gives you... Oh, actually, it showed you off if you slide it to the, to the left, you see local events in theaters, top videos. On the, 920, on the 900, you don't get that. So when you're pushing the search button, it shows you a quick animation. That's not found on the 900. Um, we'll go to the home screen. The 900 still doesn't have the resizable icons like the 920. Um, so as you can see on the 920, I have a lot more customization going on on my home screen, whereas the 900, I only have two tile sizes and I can't choose uh, which size I want. So let's say I tap on on this tile right here. Let's go to the bottom so I don't reconfigure my layout. So here's the family room on the 900, or on the 920. I push the arrow and I'll have multiple sizes. So there's a smaller one, the full size, and the square. If I put it on the full size, I'll have some notifications that'll show me um, text. And that works with all the icons. And on the 900, if I hold it down, there's no option to change the size at all. So you don't really have much of an option on the 900. Um, going into the menu, as you can see, you also lost the right side blank spot where that arrow is. On the 920, it's all the way at the bottom. So there's no arrow at the top or on every screen, you know, as you scroll. 
you're only going to get on the 920, you're only going to get on the bottom. That way it saves some screen space. We'll watch the face, um, actually this one's disconnected, so yeah, it's connected to Wi-Fi. We'll launch, um, launch the Facebook app, or better yet, let's launch Amazon Kindle. Amazon Kindle. Looks like I haven't set it up on either yet, but here's another difference of the screen. So as you can see, the live tiles makes a huge difference um, in terms of being able to resize everything. So that's it for the difference in the 900 and the 920. I'm going to have a more overview in another video of the Windows Phone 8 operating system. But for now, that's uh, everything you could see in this video. And if you check out our YouTube channel, there's a couple other videos comparing it to the Nokia PureView 808 and the Nokia N8. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.